Seven of the double murder trial of Alec Murdoch well underway tonight in Colleton County. The former attorney is accused of killing his wife and son in June of 2021. Now we've heard testimony about guns and phone data, but a key topic were the words I versus they in an interview with SLED. Our Taggart Hauk is following this. He joins us in studio with more Taggart. Well, good evening to you both. Yeah, this really took place days after the murders and the first part of the day was spent really dissecting what exactly was said here. Take a look. Alec Murdoch's defense team continued to attack the integrity of SLED's investigation into the murders of Maggie and Paul Murdoch. Murdoch is accused of killing them at the family's hunting estate in June of 2021. Have you ever found the murder weapons? Do you know? <clears throat> Not that I'm aware of, sir. Defense attorney Jim Griffin questioned SLED agent Jeff Croft this morning. Part of that focused on this moment from a SLED interview when Alec talked about Paul. <laughs> it's just so bad. I did it so bad. <laughs> Croft testified. Murdoch said, quote, I did him so bad. I'm 100% confident in what I heard and I interpreted him as saying. The defense slowed the clip, claiming Murdoch said, quote, they did him so bad. Not, I did him so bad. <laughs> so bad. I did it so bad. Regardless, defense attorney Jim Griffin said if Alec were a person of interest, why not ask him to explain? What'd you do in response to that? I made a mental note of, on it, uh, of it. Jurors also heard testimony from DNR agent John Bedingfield, a cousin of Murdoch's, he makes guns on the side and sold Murdoch three 300 blackout rifles, the type of gun prosecutors say was used to kill Maggie. The defense asked Bedingfield about Murdoch's relationship with his boys. It was always good. And I will say just within the last couple of minutes, we heard testimony from an expert uh, pertaining to cell phone data, data, excuse me, uh, and looking into records uh, from calls. That expert testified that it is very possible that Maggie Murdoch, uh, after she had died, her phone actually shifted uh, from portrait mode to landscape and then back to portrait mode, indicating uh, that somebody would have picked that up after she died and that two seconds after that was put in that position, a call came through from Alec Murdoch. 